storm finish, that's for sure. Yeah, um, you know, I felt like we kind of got the calm before the storm today, <laughs> so you know, we were fortunate to get in before it looks like we're going to get some weather this half, but uh, pretty scorable conditions. I played solid. You know, definitely good scores are out there this morning. Uh, it was nice to get on some fresh greens, and uh, you know, I'll be looking forward to hopefully doing a little bit better again tomorrow. This might is, it be more scorable, is it more scorable today, Dave, than it, that it has been the first two days? I think so, yeah. yeah. Um, the wind wasn't up at all, and uh, you know, I think they got a little bit of water on those greens overnight. They were getting pretty firm yesterday afternoon, so uh, definitely pretty scorable this morning, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens with the weather this half, but uh, there were some opportunities out there. That may be a dumb question, but the momentum from the way you got in yesterday, does that carry over to your third round today? Did yeah, it? I buried the first hole, so <laughs> I just kept it rolling. I thought this is good, we'll just keep it going as long as I can. Uh, I felt good yesterday, obviously, finished up the way I did. Uh, didn't play my best getting to the weekend, but you know, uh, it's a pretty tight leaderboard, so a couple of good rounds on the weekend, I can certainly move up. Today is a good start. What are some of your uh, expectations for tomorrow? Yeah, I don't really have too many expectations, but I, I've been playing good golf, so I know that. Uh, if I go out and just do what I'm doing, I can put in a round like today or even a little bit better and you know, hopefully uh, move up into uh, a little bit higher spot. Do you prepare any differently when the weather conditions might be today and carrying into tomorrow like this? Yeah, well, you know, I don't think I'm going to have much chance to do much preparation after this. It seems like it might rain here pretty soon. But uh, you know, with the green softening up, if it rains quite a bit like it's supposed to, uh, you know, we'll play a little bit differently. Um, the course tends to uh, get a little longer. and. You know, it's been nice. We've had a lot of the fairways running out, so you know, there's not really much I can do. You just sort of assess it early in a round and, and kind of figure it out from there. Dave, you played the U.S. Open at, at Marion. Um, I'm just wondering, what's the ideal golf course for playing a National Open? Would it be something like Marion, or would it be something like Glen Abbey? Yeah, you know, I think the nice thing that uh, Golf Canada has done the last few years is we've kind of rotated around to some of Canada's better courses, and I think uh, you know, a lot of guys enjoyed Hamilton. A lot of guys really enjoy Shaughnessy and. You know, it's nice to come back here where there's been so much history. So I think it's they've done a good job with kind of moving it around. I'm looking forward to next year at Old Montreal as well. So, you know, I don't know if there's necessarily an ideal course for a national championship, but I think they're doing a good job with this little rotation. Just your, uh, your thoughts, too, on Brad Frisch pulling a tough break? I hadn't heard. He's withdrawn, yeah. He's oh, bad that's, back, yeah. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. He's been playing so solid all year, and uh, I think everybody in Canada is just pulling for him to have a good weekend. and kind of lock his card up for next year, so that's, uh, that's really disappointing. Especially with him sitting right on the bubble for FedEx Cup. Yeah, I, I know he's got to be just gutted with that, but uh, you know, I know what kind of player he is, and, and he's still got a couple of weeks to go and get it done, and uh, you know, I got to imagine he couldn't be more disappointed. Great. Thanks, Dave. Yeah.